Welcome back. This is our new project, a BMW E46 320 convertible. I'm gonna say that they're getting quite rare because most of these were bought as a, as a petrol variant. This is a diesel, 150 brake horsepower. There is a few problems with it, as we've seen here. The interior is looking a little bit tired, as you can see. The leather's quite worn. We're going to actually repaint this leather black again and get it looking a lot more, uh, a lot fresher. Yeah, carpets could do with a good hoovering. A little bit of mold growing over there. You know, it's it has seen better days. It has seen better days. And this piece, this looks like a Christmas tree. We seem to have a few lights down. ABS problem, flat tire. The flat tires aren't flat, the light down. So yeah, plenty to do. We're gonna get this car on the ramp now. We'll have a look underneath and we'll see what it needs. notice a few a few things see a bit of oil here I'm gonna guess there's a, a leak somewhere so let's just have a look hmm looks like someone was here before and used some sort of a chemical gasket seal there's a leak there it's quite wet I'm going to try and figure out where that's coming from down across the back, the handbrake is not on. This wheel is quite stiff, which would indicate a problem. Across here, some sort of an issue. Sounds like it's the speed sensor that could have rusted away. I was just making a bit of noise, but again, we're going to need to investigate that further. Other than that, it seems seems fairly okay. There's one or two small little rust holes, which I suppose are are to be uh, expected in a in a 2005 BMW. So let's find out. I've noticed this area here. is in very poor condition. That's something that we will need to fix. Um, yeah, that is very unfortunate that we're after spotting that. Wasn't expecting it. It's gonna take a lot of time to get this fixed. So I think we should concentrate on getting the engine working first of all, figure out where that leak is coming from, figure out why this is quite stiff. And that one isn't and it's making that strange noise so there's two problems one problem two problems three oil leak four right we've lots to do let's get to it that's our carpet that's the inside carpet not ideal just getting worse that black stuff you see there that's the uh, sound editing material inside which there yeah this this shouldn't be here now bad and all as it is if we left this any longer it's only going to get a lot worse so while I didn't plan on doing this I think it's something that needs to be done fairly, fairly fast and isolate the problem. 
It looks like whoever sold me this car or the mechanic who did the work on it knew there was a problem. You can see here, this black spray looks like it was put on to mask the problem. Along there, there. That's why it's very important when you're buying a car that you put it on a ramp, especially a car of this age. So we have plenty of work to do. Angel oil looks clean. First job is to get the engine cover off to see where the oil is coming from. I'm going to guess that it's a rocket cover gasket, but uh, let's just see. I don't know if you can see there, but there's a, a pool of oil on top of the engine. This one is be kind of baffled. Um, we have a very, very, very recent puddle of oil here, um, down around all the injectors. But I can't seem to see where it's coming from. Now I have looked at this. I've never seen this happen before. There's a lot of oil here. So I'm going to run the engine, I'm going to clean this, maybe get a new oil, uh, oil seal, maybe an oil cap, and see how that goes. I'm going to try and use the oil sucker to take the oil out. Now I know there's not a whole pile in there, but I think this might be the easiest way. Now, it would be fairly usual to have a build-up of oil around the oil filler from years of putting oil in and out, but I just think it's a little bit too high. So maybe if I clean all these out, maybe tighten the tabs down on, on the oil filler cap, it might just do the job. And guys, if any of you have had this problem in the past, please feel free to comment below because I don't know where this oil is coming from, but this looks like the culprit, but we'll, we'll find out soon. So I've given this gasket a good clean. I haven't gone and bought a new one just yet because I don't know if this is the problem. 
So it seems fairly clean. I'm gonna put this back together, run the engine, and see have we got any oil coming up here. I, again, this might be the problem. The problem might be in the engine, but let's eliminate one by one. Or we could have two or three different problems. Or we could have two or three different leaks. Oil cap is now cleaned out. I'm going to just put a, sm actually here, look. Just after noticing. If you look at this, notice how the angle of this one, very hard to see that actually. Let's bring it over here. The angle of the two oil cap tabs are off. So there'll be less pressure put on this one than on that one. So I'm gonna adjust this one and see will that fix the problem. This is me baffled. I think I have it fixed. Um, as I showed you earlier, we pushed the tabs down on the oil cap, which has given it a better seal. There was a bit of play in it. Now it seems fairly tight. So I'm not going to drive it for a while. There's a couple of bits that still need to be done. I did notice the thermostat wasn't opening correctly, which means that the, the, the engine is not getting up to the correct temperature. So I think in the next video, we're going to remove the thermostat housing, put in a new thermostat, put all this back together and bring it for a spin. Guys, thanks again for watching. I know we've come close to the thousand uh, subscribers. I, I'm completely blown away. I know a couple of you are looking forward to seeing the, the other videos, the other projects that we have been built. Uh, there's been delays between COVID problems and trying to get suppliers to get paint and all sorts of issues. So I said now would be the time to, to start working on this. So again, guys, thank you so much. There'll be loads more coming, believe me. Please like and subscribe for more videos and great content. Peace out.